We have built a multi-million dollar factory empire, but the complexity of it pales in comparison to our new project today. Growing Grass. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Automation Empire. Where last time we got our entire water network set up and going, so that now every machine's running super spicy. And it's really helped with our output and our power expenses. However though, our main goal yesterday was to try and get into the farming stuff. So on lock farming we need to uh, process oil, and then the greenhouse needs the green meal. So we need these two things. So we spent a lot of time setting up all of these research bays, and finally, we are able to get that stuff. Right? Right. So, unlock. We got farming now. And then next up is the green meal. And we're closing in on the rocket as well. But one thing at a time here, let's figure out farming. So farm platforms, okay, pretty straightforward. Also, I left this huge area over here to do all of our farming at, so this should work out quite well. So how does this work? Okay, pretty straightforward. We just add water. Wow, how advanced. And then once we connect the water, let me guess, we have to have everything drop into a minecart? Seems to be how everything goes in this game. So let's get you guys out. And okay, aside from that, grass, 6 per 60 seconds. That's really, really slow. Okay, we are going to absolutely copy that over here. Except we're actually going to stagger it a bit so we can have the same loading bays on the same minecart track. And okay, that gives us one little farmer's field, but we need two. Because along with the grass, there is red grass. Oh wow, big diff here. And you know, now that I think of it, why don't they just get like lawnmowers and collect the green grass? I bet that would be a lot faster than having to do all this. Eh, but who am I to say, I guess? <gasps> oh my gosh, and wait, what? You can make T-junctions with the pipes? Someone told me this in the comments and I was like, Psh, I don't believe you. Doesn't make any sense. Like I tried doing this and I was like, yeah, that's not connecting. But wait, how did I how does that even work then? What? Oh, you have to actually be on the pipes. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Learning something new every day. Oh, and speaking of learning something new, I I can't believe it. But in all my hours in this game, I didn't know you could switch the camera angle. You just hold Metal Mouse. Wow. It's a whole new world. Nifty new wangles I never knew. But oh my gosh, this would have helped me so much in making thumbnails. Goodness gracious. The future is here. What a shame we're only finding out about it now. But that's okay. At least we can use this cool camera angle for the rockets when we get there. But well, that won't be for a bit. First up, we need ethanol. And how do we make that? Doodly doodly do. Out of oil and red grain. Well, there's our oil. Here's the red grain. Seems pretty straightforward. Oh wait, but how do you make the red grain? Do we have to refine the grass? Of course we do. So we refine everything as we usually do. Uh, we combine the two grains into the green meal. And then the red one just goes out to space over here. Right on. Well, first off then, let's just do a little bit of refining. So we'll bring both items all into here. And also, we're going to do things a little bit differently here. We're going to use the big bins, number one. And then we're going to use remote connectors to just kind of shimmy things to where they need to be. So we'll make this little setup and our pickup point right at the door. Then get that red green moving and grooving. Then bring the grass in the other side. And then it's same old business from there. Just mark these what they need to be. So this one can be orange. This one will be green. Then we're just off to our usual business. And we're going to have our green grass go out here. And red grass go out here. Or no, it turns into green now, right? Yeah, green. The green goes out that way. And pretty much right after that, we have to combine it into the green meal. And all this stuff will be stuffed into the research base. Just have to get the actual green in there. Then we're just going to do the exact same thing we pretty much did with the furnaces. So you guys will line up all nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Whoa, this is going to look even better than I thought because look at this. 
Goodbye to you, my friends. Oh, wait a second. The angles. But then the main thing, though, is you can just curve over this way and go all the way down there. Wow. Convenient to the hyper max. So what's going on here, then? Oh, this side's green. Okay, so this is going to be the green stuff. The green grain meal. This will be the red. And then we just fill the area with combiners. Right on, right on. And with that, I think we are done. Oof, but now it's looking like the machine isn't actually keeping up. Because in watching this, it's looking like the two box makers are only keeping up with like the first three machines. The fourth maybe gets used one time, but hardly ever. So let's try mixing it up. And instead of using like these really basic like box mover things, we're gonna start using claw arms. I bet they could be faster. Yeah, if we just have the claw arms going in like a big circle, I think we could make this more efficient. And if this works, then we won't have to build a whole new factory and deal with all that nonsense. Let's give her a shot. We'll add on like six claws to the claw train, then optimize our export area, and we'll let it rip. We have our old system on the right, new system on the left. What do? Great machines, what do? Hmm. I don't think it fills bins fast enough. Yeah, it's still sticking to like the first two here, maybe the third. But I'm not willing to give up on this just yet. I think we can still make it better. And the way I can see us making it better is just by having the crates get loaded faster. So that means two bins, spacing things out a little bit better too. And now having something like this. So more boxes hopefully get filled sooner, and then the claw arms can actually grab them. Okay, and yeah, it is working a little better, like the third one machine's getting used a lot more. But it's not enough. Simply not enough. We have to expand. If our bottleneck is the boxes, then we will find a way to get more boxes. But this whole thing, yeah, it's gone. Goodbye. And now with this redesign, we're gonna try and make micro systems. And then set up like super claw systems just to grab as many boxes as quickly as possible. Okay, so this system really should work. If this doesn't work, I don't even know. Uh, anyway, we're actually gonna be processing the green grass here. Uh, the red grass will probably go process somewhere else, because we're gonna need that to make the ethanol. And this will be a good proof of concept just for this system. So first off, add on a couple of you guys, probably six. Might be a little excessive, who knows, who cares? Let's just watch and see what happens. So ideally, if this system's actually good, we should be seeing Probably four or five of these refineries actually running. Oh man. That is the dream at least. Oh yeah, we got already four. Things are backing up. More claws then, please. More claws then, please. Oh, and it's so compact too. Look at that, look at that. I am pretty sure this works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this works a lot better. In fact, it's, it's even slow. Can we use our science to speed up these claws? Where's our science stuff? Claws. Nope, they are super speeding. Okay, and we do not need more claws. Okay, so if anything, the claws are actually too slow. Oh, and I goofed something down here, and we have the other green. Uh, we'll quickly go through that. There, Everything's going into combiners over here. So it's not like the end of the world. Yep, and we pretty much used up all the refineries back here. So this actually is working. Good. Now destroy the contents, please and thank you. Let's switch over to our new system. Please? Hello? There's that delicious green stuff. Scoot, 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 scoot! Oh! <laughs> But all right though, that solves one of our problems. Now we have a whole system to fix because now we have to figure out the red green again. And in a dream world, I could literally just copy and paste this whole factory and put it over here. But of course, it's not so simple. But you know, actually, not all is lost. I was thinking we're gonna have to get rid of this whole farm and put it somewhere else, but we are gonna have to kinda do that. 
but we're still going to be able to utilize the space by just putting the green farms in here. And I'm sure our new refinery center will handle this many farms. Like this thing is moving and grooving. That'll be fine. But getting back to that red stuff though, I think we're going to make another farming center way over here. Because they're not hard to make, they just take a whole lot of space. And in the late game, the space has quite the premium. Oh man, and round two here guys, but we have a new factory all looking good looking spicy. And I can pretty much guarantee it's going to be much more efficient. Like we got the whole loop going with the minecart. And yeah, honestly, you know what's going to work good if it ends up looking like a circuit board. Like looks equal productivity. Totally. Almost every time. Well, that is if you actually set up the system properly and loaded the minecarts. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Anyway, though, it looks like we are starting to load up and the spice gets moving. Ooh. And grooving? Game? You okay there, bud? Oh, no, I see. The cart just got really confused because suddenly it could load into some of the areas. Okay, never mind. We're good. That's moving. Oh man, we're gonna have to get like bigger carts here. More carts! Wow. Wow. 24? Are we going for the big 24? We are! Oh my gosh. We need even more! Yeah, cause once we get to this point- uh oh. Uh oh. Can we get more mine carts? Uh, yes! Haha! <laughs> we got them. There we go. And that just barely, just barely handles everything. Wow. And that is easily our biggest minecart yet. And I'm pretty sure we got our most efficient system yet built here too. Yeah, I'd say we are pretty much good. It backs up here for like half a second, but that's survivable. But we'll be okay with that. Now let's just add on more minecarts here and rock and roll. Because from this factory, we're taking everything over to the combiners here, and we're getting green for days. Right? Oh, in a second. Where's that minecart at? Brother. Oh, it's you. Oh, there wasn't any stuff in there before. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Load on up, friend. Show me the grain. And of course, big question, is this actually gonna be a big enough minecart? can almost guarantee it's not going to be. Um, seem to be, I think, oh gosh, I missed it actually. I think we hit the end here, so how about this? We're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We're gonna sneak out the door. And ain't nobody gonna be the wiser. The ultimate heist. Okay, well that fish end will definitely help out. And now we're combining again. Very good, very good. I think at this point we're gonna need more combiners. Can we fit any more in? Oh yeah, of course we can. Look at all this space that I can almost all use. At least all these guys are running. Just need some more of that red green. Oh my goodness, and we are gonna be getting it. This thing is going off the chain. Every minecart. Wow, this is so much more efficient. Now we have that really good problem again of not being able to fit everything in the factory. Ooh, my favorite problem. Awesome. That's rock and roll. Oh my gosh, and even look at this. We're already claiming some of the grain. Gimme. Give Gimme give the science. Cool. Two more loads, pretty much, and then we are ready. Oh, and in the meantime, as we wait for science, as we do, I discovered th one of the best discoveries yet. Pretty much a way to make our train system almost twice as efficient. And that's just by combining all of the different stops together. So now all of the steel, what is this, steel plates? Yeah, all of the steel plates are combined. So every bin, every train station for steel is all together now. And we don't need to worry about one overflowing or dumb stuff like that. In fact, we could even expand such a system, but as it's set up, I'd have to redo the whole thing and yeah, I don't really want to do that. And it's been keeping up much, much better. In fact, look at our output. 38,000, almost 39,000 kilograms. Woo. And we're not even exporting ethanol yet. In fact, we still have our oil from last time just building up and sitting here. So I think we're gonna hit that extra milestone real and real quick. 
In fact, you know what? I'm just looking at prices here. But if we just set up, like, mini farms, just with trucks and maybe drones, we could make so much extra money. It's unreal. We really could. These things are really cheap and really easy to make. Huh. If it comes to that, it comes to that. Considering how efficient we are, though, I doubt it will. Oh yeah, and what am I doing? Why am I waiting? We can already make the ethanol. My dude. All right, so this track way over here actually is bringing oil from the other side of the map. Uh, refined oil. Uh, there's refined oil here, and we have the red grain here. So okay, yeah, this will take only like a second. Just one quick combiner factory. That's like the easiest thing to do in the game. The only thing we kind of have to watch out for is we need huge, massive, massive, massive bu uh, buffers. Because it's going to be bringing stuff from three different corners of the map. So we're going to have to have some massive storage areas for all of it. Well, that should be okay. We have like five million dollars. It's not like money is really an issue now. And we will sneak everything through some windows here. Good. And wow. <laughs> My experience is showing. I already knew. Already knew that was the perfect amount of space. Getting too good. Oh my gosh. And if you thought that was good, look at this. I don't know what it is today, but we're making the best looking things in the world. So we have the oil coming in from here and from over here. And then the red grain will come in through here. It's so perfect. It looks so good. And it leaves us so much space to make combiners. And I think we are done here. So yeah, we'll leave this be for now. We'll add in more combiners if we have to. I, I doubt it. And for now, we're just gonna store all of the ethanol back here. We're gonna need it for rocket tech, so it's all gonna be slammed into research. Then maybe we sell it in the cargo rockets? Probably, yeah. For now though, we are making ourselves some ethanol. And that is my favorite looking stuff so far. It doesn't look like goop. Oh, it super looks like goop. But it's orange goop, and orange is like my favorite color, so hey, all good, man. Looks like all these are running too good. Just have to wait on a little bit more oil. Add some carts to that. Like, I wasn't kidding when I said we're bringing oil from across the map. Like, this is our ethanol factory, and this is one of the oil refineries. Yeah. Gonna need lots of minecarts there. Okay, but aside from the ethanol here, finally this stuff's all done. And I am almost certain that is enough for the unlock, right? Of course it is. And that unlocks us the greenhouses, which speed up the farm's growing speed by 25%. Okay. <laughs> we super do not need that. But damn, does it look good, so we're super gonna have them on there. So what was that? Six for 60 seconds, and now it's 45 seconds. Cool. And since we have the money, let's just do the same right over here for the red grass. And move even quicker. Anyway though, that's gonna be as far as we're actually moving today, because that's gonna be all for now. So if you guys enjoyed, remember to leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next video. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>